Hello everyone, let's talk about Recommender Systems Basic. There are two popular algorithms, Collaborative Filtering and Content-Based Filtering, which I'm going to cover in this video. Here's the example with the Movie Recommendation System. Uh, you say you are the movie provider and you already have four users already, and they click the like button on the movie they watch it and like. Which movie will you recommend for user 3, uh, who already watched Ant-Man and Avengers? Well, intuitively we can find a similar user and recommend the movie from the similar user. And you can find the user 1 is a similar user here because they both watched Ant-Man or Avengers. And since user 1 watched Spider-Man, we can recommend Spider-Man to user 3. This is the user-based collaborative filtering. Well, we are the data scientist. How can you find a similar user in data science way? All we have is like button information, so we can change this like button as 1, and if user has not clicked the like button, we can just say 0 there. So this is the user to movie matrix. Every user now has some 1 or 0 value. We can say it is the vector representation. Example, user 1 is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, and user 2 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. It's a 5-dimensional vector. Since it's a vector representation, we can use as a similarity uh, uh, algorithm here. I'm going to use the cosine similarity here. Between user 1 and user 3, the cosine similarity is 81.81 here. If you do the calculation for every user, uh, the similarity between user 3 and user 1 is the highest value. That means user 1 has very similar movie taste like user 3. So now we know that user 1 has the same uh, similar movie taste. We can recommend the movie from user 1. They both watched Ant-Man and Avengers, but Spider-Man, user 1 only watched Spider-Man, so we can recommend Spider-Man to the user 3. This is the user-based collaborative filtering. Next step, what is the item-based collaborative filtering? Which movie will you recommend for user 4? Well, we know that user 4 already watched Gatsby, and if we know that the Titanic is a similar movie to the Gatsby, why don't we recommend Titanic to user 4? This is the item-based collaborative filtering. Well, the while the user-based collaborative filtering was using the user to a movie matrix this item-based collaborative filtering will use the movie to user matrix. So every movie now is a, will be a vector representation using the user information. For example, the Ant-Man, user 1 and user 3 click the like button. Uh, let's take a look at the Gatsby. The Gatsby, user 2 and user 4 click the like button. So using this information, the Ant-Man, the vector representation is like a four-dimensional vector, 1010. So the cosine similarity with Gatsby, uh, the Titanic has the highest score. So we can see the Gatsby and Titanic, they are similar each other here. So we can, uh, we can recommend Titanic to user 4. This is it. This is the item-based collaborative filtering. All right, next question. How can we recommend new movie? Uh, today is like April in 2019. The Avengers Endgame has not released yet, but once it's released, how can you recommend this movie to the users? Neither user collaborate filtering nor the item collaborate filtering can recommend new movie because there is no one watching the movie. There is no like button on this movie uh, at all. So we call this problem as cold start problem. How can you solve this problem? Uh, the answer can be the content-based filtering. Uh, let's take a look. So the content-based filtering uses meta information as features. So it can avoid it can avoid the cold start problem. So now the feature is something like the if the movie uh, has Iron Man, if Captain America is in the movie if the Spider-Man is in the movie, uh, if the Leonardo DiCaprio is in the movie, if the movie is based on the true story. So we can use any meta information for the movie. 
So for example, the Avengers Endgame has the Iron Man, Captain America, Spider-Man inside, and Avengers, the old Avengers movie has the Iron Man and Captain America, Spider-Man movie has the Iron Man and the Spider-Man, while the Titanic uh, has a Leonardo DiCaprio and is based on the true story, uh, Gatsby has Leonardo DiCaprio. And now we can see the similarity here, the Avengers Endgame has a high similarity with old the Avengers movie and the Spider-Man. So once the Avengers movie is released, then the, we can recommend uh, this movie to the user 1 and user 3 because they watch the similar movie, the Avengers and the Spider-Man. Uh, this is the content-based filtering. And I hope this helps you to understand the basic of the recommendation in these days. Thank you very much and I will see you on the next video.